Now, oftentimes when companies merge or become acquired, it can leave people without work. Think your company might be up for sale? Well, we've got Phil Blair here with Manpower San Diego to give us some tips on how to prepare for such a thing. Good morning to you. Good morning, Dave. I mean, it, sometimes it happens and sometimes you're hit blindsided and you don't want to be hit blindsided. You don't want to be blindsided. So so what? how do you figure it out? What are some of the warning signs that your company might be doing something that that's not going to help you well the economy is starting to churn business is getting better and you're hearing about lots of acquisitions and mergers and companies going out of business sure i want every employee of every company when they're managing their career to pay attention to where their company's going in the next few years right and do they want to ride this buggy for another year or two or years longer okay so let's say some of the warning signs and the very first one is uh, something about cost controls right well, there's there's signs, yeah, right? And pay right. attention. We talk about having that radar up all the time. For example, a lot of closed door meetings. Mm -hmm. This company's very open. Why are all there all, all once, of lots of closed doors? Mm -hmm. Why are there visitors touring through the business? And there's always all rumors in, in offices, but but you got to pay right? attention. But then to all it. these start to add yeah. up. A lot of closed door cutting. Um, research and marketing, mm -hmm. right? Why are we cutting? Those are investments in the future. No hiring, leaving positions open. All these things are saying something's churning out there mm -hmm. and it's not good. Maybe a new face or two that they bring in. That might be a brand mm -hmm. new CEO. Right. Um, also, if the person that mentors you is all at once gone and they're leaving. If you right. see management, senior management starting to bail because they're in on the uh, in okay. crowd stuff. All right. All right. So you figure that out. What do you do about it? You don't want to take it lying down. You don't want to just wait it out. Or maybe you do. It depends. No, no I want you to be proactive. Okay. I want right. you to absolutely be proactive. Think in terms of a merger, right? Okay. Are you the buying company or are you being bought? Okay. If you're being bought, then probably the local company that's doing the buyer's employees will stay before you do. Mm -hmm. So think about it, 30 people in the accounting department of ABC Company. I want you to be out looking for the next job months ahead of everybody else. Mm -hmm. This is an every man for themselves. Be out there interviewing, networking, get active, get your resume updated. And if it works out fine, wonderful. Right. If it doesn't, you're in that new position, well-established, and now 29 other people with your same skill sets from your same company are now looking for the same job in the same market. Should you go ask that question to your superiors if you feel like something's going down? I mean, should you corner them and say, hey, am I a part of this future or what's going on? I mean, <laughs> yes, you should. Yeah. But watch for signs mm -hmm. because they may have signed privacy, non-compete. Mm -hmm. So listen for tone. Listen, watch for facial expression. Yeah, right. It's you not always what they say. You but. can say no, <laughs> no, we're yeah. not thinking of anything, yeah. right? right? And mm -hmm. pay attention to that because they may giving be giving you a clue. But if you do this work and you network and you do all these things and nothing happens, fine. Right. You've met a lot of new people. You've you found your net worth out there in the in the community for your skill sets and everything works out fine. But I don't want you to be blindsided. I don't want you to put your head down and say, oh, maybe right. if they if I hide away, they'll ignore me and keep me on the job. It's just the opposite. Okay, what if you're in a company where you're under contract? Do you, I mean, you have to obviously look at your contract and see what, what kind of out you have or what type of severance pay you have or <laughs> well clearly look at yeah. those things because you want to know. You want to start cutting expenses mm -hmm. just in case. You want to start saving more money. You don't go on expensive vacations right. at this time. But a contract is really so much more for the employee benefit than the employer. Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody says, we're under contract, but I'm leaving, what are they going to do? Force yeah. you to stay? Yeah. So, and especially if all this churning is going on, they're not going to pay attention to little old me in the accounting department, but mm -hmm. it's important to me. Okay. And this is that career coaching and take care of your own career and make sure you are where you need to be at the right time. This is not the time to put your head down. Another thing I tell people is you get in bed with the largest customer so that they go, hey, don't let David go because yeah. he's my, he's my go-to person. Make yourself valuable. <laughs> exactly, and find that way to do that okay. if you want to stay in the merged company. Okay. So you've got a lot of choices there, but take action and manage your career and watch out for it. Thank you so much. You're Phil. welcome. Appreciate it. We 